God first, everything second. Do we got a good? We do. We do. All right, let's go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Have you ever wondered how you can leverage your project management skills to level up your personal development game and at the same time achieve excellence in all aspects of your life? Well, you know how we're about to do this thing here. Get ready to have your mind blown because in today's episode, we're going to unpack, we're going to explore incredible parallels between project management and personal development. And at the same time, I'll show you how you can use, how you can use this proven project management techniques to actually supercharge your personal growth journey. But imagine this, treating your life like a high stake, like a high stakes pro, uh, project. Now, the only thing is you are the project manager. Are you ready to become the project manager of your life? If so, stay tuned for today's episode. If you're new to the channel, I go by the name of ED for all you smart and intelligent folks out there. Listen, that just simply means Ed. I have an eight point framework and these eight points, my goal, my job, my mission today is to unpack today's title, which is entitled from project management to personal excellence using project management skills for personal development. I know that's a long title, but we're going to get into this thing. You know, one of the things, family, when I first thought about this, as far as how am I going to put this together for you guys, uh, we're going to navigate into point number one. Point number one, scope management to prevent overcommitment. Reason why this is number one, because I see a lot of people, including myself, so I'll raise my hand because I'm guilty of this, is that sometimes you find yourself overcommitting. What does that look like? Meaning that you've you've uh, taken on more than what you thought you could take on. So sometimes what you'll find yourself doing is uh, <laughs> just like a project running thin in a sense because you don't have the resources, meaning you don't have the time to uh, to to do with the thing that you said that you wanted to do. You don't have the, um, the resources as far as people to help you out. So my recommendation, so you don't end up like how I have so many times, just overcommit, overcommit, um, clearly define what you will and will not take on to avoid overstretching yourself. That is so powerful, family. The reason why I say that is so powerful is because the things, you know, in previous videos, I talked about the importance of saying no, learning to say no to tasks and activities that do not align with your personal development goals. We have to understand that the more, the, the less time we have to focus on us, meaning that the time that we're trying to build our, our identity up as far as growth, personal growth, continually to learn and things of that nature, the less time we give to that, meaning that we're going to offer more time to somebody else, but it's not an even trade-off. So I'm saying all that to say, family, that we have to make sure that we say no to things and using that word no with power and not saying that, hey, we won't be able to come back and help those the, that particular person or individuals, whatever it may be. However, you're saying, hey, I have some things I need to get done. And so for me to get these done, I have to stay focused. All right, let's move on to point number two. Develop a personal knowledge management system. Listen, you need to treat your personal development as a knowledge man uh, management area, meaning a knowledge area. You know the 10 knowledge areas. Uh, Capture, uh, basically what you want to do here, family, is organize your insights, learnings, and best practices uh, you, you can acquire. One of the things I like to do, here's an actionable step, is um, I actually use my note app on my phone to basically kind of um, track to see how I'm progressing, meaning basically what I'm saying is documenting the, my personal development journey. Um, and by doing that, so um, I have a whiteboard that say, okay, for this month, uh, or th these, yeah, this, this month, these are the things that I'm going to be working on. How did I do? And so, it's some moments where I, I'm like, yes, I really, I really did extremely well. And there's some moments where I didn't have the success that I was looking for, but then I start identifying and unpacking, well, why didn't I have that success and what can I do differently? Point number three, foster accountability and self-discipline. Listen, family, being able to hold yourself accountable for your personal development goals is going to be key. I know it's hard. Listen, today is Monday. 
I'm thinking right now, okay, I got this, 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 and this, but I made a commitment to you guys as far as uh, putting out content and putting out a video. So that's the self-discipline aspect that is required in order to, for me to achieve this goal. And my goal is putting out content on a, on a consistent basis and ensure there's value there. So one of the things, again, going back to what I always recommend is having an accountability partner or what I talked about at advisory council. And every Tuesday, uh, I, I just started this actually like two weeks ago. Uh, I send out, hey, these were my goals for, these are my goals for this week. And then that following Tuesday, I circle back and say, these are the things I got done. These are the things I didn't get done. And I don't make any excuses. I don't say, well, you know, the dryer wasn't doing what it was supposed to or I was going to post to get. No, it's either is it done or not. And that's the thing I think we have to do when you when you get into this journey of personal development, you want to minimize the excuses because the excuse won't matter. It may be legitimate. It may <laughs> it may be very legitimate of why you didn't get it done. However, it's just it's just feedback to say, okay, maybe I need to put this earlier in my day or later in my day or I need to get up earlier or stay up late. So the feedback should be conditioning you what you need to potentially do, which leads me into point number four. You need to embrace change and adaptability. That's the same thing with a project. Treating your personal goals like even like a scrum uh, type type approach and running sprints and keeping a backlog of of the things you you want to do and then put the items that you're going to be working on the, uh, for the following two weeks or three weeks or a month in a sprint to see how you're doing and, and leverage the uh, scrum particular mindset when it comes to this. But really what you want to do uh, and endure, I should say, really endure is regularly reassess and look at your plan and make adjustments with the new information that you got. I recently got some new information where I was I was I, w I was trying to work on um, this the PMO book later at at night or after after my particular shift and what I found out was is that I just wasn't getting it done so I said okay this is what we're gonna have to do and I haven't done it yet but we're gonna put ourselves in a room and we're gonna finish this out go through all the the uh, editor updates and everything that's that required to get this book out to publish and you know sometimes I'm getting and this is another piece I wouldn't this wasn't even on a today's episode but again it goes back to getting in your own way sometimes we can search for that perfection or we can search for that oh we don't want it nothing to go wrong with this and you know listen that's when nothing gets out so my goal for this year I know it's a, it's a bold goal but to have I want to have 20 books uh, published this year and with that being the case, I need to move faster and getting these books out. So I say all that to say, listen, you want to cultivate a flexible, resilient mindset and viewing change as an opportunity to watch this family learn, grow and improve. Let's move on to point number five. You know, I wasn't going to go anywhere. Message without talking about practice, effective communication. And I'm not just talking about to just to other people, but to yourself. What does that look like? How do you write down trans something that is transparent as far as with regards to the strategies that you're going to equip yourself with of achieving your personal development goal what does the progress look like what does the achievement looks like i mean you know listen family put together a, a communication uh, management plan that outlo outlines what you will share uh, during your personal journey one of the things that i did along the way is frequency so i just shared with you um, previously that i had two days, I mean, excuse me, every Tuesday, I said two days, every Tuesday, I give an update to my accountability partners of where I'm at. And these are people that I selected that because we're always holding each other accountable. I said, I wanted to put a paper trail as we talk about here, documentation beats conversation. So I want to see Am I really showing up to the commitment that I made or am I just sounding interested? And you know, I, I can take us down a whole rabbit hole when it comes to the commitment versus uh, interest. But listen, family, you want to ensure that you are using the proper communication channels. I always recommend every project coordinator, project, project coordinator, project manager, project program. Anybody in this thing that I love that you love called project management should be wanting to uh, do content, whether it's writing or whether it's being in front of a camera, because it's going to help you 
uh, as you continue to grow in your in your profession and project management. All right, point number six, you know I can't leave nowhere without this. Continuously to learn. Listen, we know about the growth mindset. It's going to be imperative. No, no, no. It's going to be very important that you develop this growth mindset along in your journey because there's going to be things that you're going to look at. You're going to say, how... I, how did this even happen? And so instead of getting caught up in the emotions of how this even happened, let's start p- putting together a plan in place to address the things that should have went the way that you hoped it to go. Now you got a chance. What I love about this is the course correct. What is course correct? Well, hey, I was going down this course and now I got a course correct because now I got to pivot and go down this direction. That's why, again, in project management, what we talked about being adaptable with change because change is something that's going to happen regardless. So stay curious and open and, and keep a open mindset when it comes to new ideals, perspective, as well as approaches so you can, that will allow you to en- enhance your personal development. Point number seven, monitor and track. Listen, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, If you don't monitor and track your progress, if you're just constantly putting up goals, but you're not tracking to see how you're performing, it it won't mean anything because then you'll keep resetting the date, resetting the date. How you know this? Because I've done it and it just I'm just being upfront with you, family. So having an ability to track what you're supposed to do and holding yourself accountable, find you accountability, a partner, find you somebody that will hold you accountable. But there's I want to be clear here. When you get that accountability partner, don't misuse them. Use them, but don't misuse them. What is the difference between misusing and using? Misusing is is that if you're expecting that this person does something for you, meaning that they do give you the, you know, uh, hold you accountable. No, 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 no. You should be sending out your information before they even get a, a, a message out to you because you've made the commitment. This is for you. What, what you're doing, whatever that thing is, whatever that personal or professional goal that you have in place, this is for you. So the accountability partner is there just to push push you when you have when you're hitting rough spots or you just like, man, I just don't feel like doing it. So that's how you're using. But don't misuse your accountability partner, because what ended up happening, is they may not want to be hold you accountable anymore because they're not seeing um, the thing that you said you want you signed up for. So, again misusing and using. So I won't go down. I know I'm going down that rabbit hole, but I'm just so, I'm, you know, one of my things is, is that, yeah, you may not get it right when it comes to when you, you, you're asking somebody to hold you accountable, but don't quit. Keep moving forward. I mean, I love what someone said. I read, it was a quote where someone said, don't quit. Like if you're tired, don't quit. Just pause, take a break, but don't quit. So I challenge you guys, family, to don't quit. Keep moving forward. Point number eight, risk assessment and personal decisions. You see, I didn't say personal choices. I said personal decision. Listen, identify potential risk in your personal plans and develop strategies to mitigate them, just like an actual risk register. Being able to identify what the risk is and create a mitigation plan um, to address it. That's the same thing you need to do about these your personal development goals. These are goals that you said you wanted. These are things that you said you wanted to do so it can help you be more than what you was yesterday. So if that's the case, how are you blocking this? To blocking the time, meaning how are you ensuring that you're able to get a chance to work on these goals? Put your phone in, do not disturb. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is my that's my new go-to. I, I know it's funny because people laugh at me like, man, I was trying to call you and it went straight to voicemail. I was like, yeah, I was working on something and I didn't want to get stra- distracted. And a lot of times it's not even about the phone call. It's the notifications, notification and you click on one and next thing you know, you don't watch two hours of, of YouTube and you're like, man, why? Okay, I'm I'm a fan of YouTube, but man, I really needed to get this book done. I really needed to build out this schedule for the things I need to do because I'm studying for a particular test. All right, here's your bonus, family. Manage your personal stakeholder engagement. Listen, you want to apply project uh, management principles such as stakeholder analysis, communication, relationship management to effectively engage and collaborate with your personal stakeholders. Listen, there's personal stakeholders that may be attached to your goal. Like I talked about before, an accountability partner. Maybe you have an advisory council that I I've shared with you before advisory council. That's something that I just put together where I have particular mentors and or friends that 
hold me accountable for the things that I said I want out of life, which is going to be huge. Which, why I say it's going to be huge is because they, they will say, hey, uh, why are you working on that shiny object um, thing that you just seen? I thought you were supposed to be getting this book out. I thought you were supposed to be getting this course out. I thought so. This is why it's important, family, that you do this. Having regular check-ins is going to hold you to the to the to the best of your ability to the to get to the next level. All right, I have three closing remarks, family. First one: continuously learn and adapt. Hey, listen, basically embracing the growth mindset, meaning don't be afraid of new challenges. Take them on and see what you can learn from this because the more you seek opportunities to learn, not the shiny, shiny object syndrome, but the thing that you said that you wanted to become, that you made a commitment to, whether it's taking the cap down, whether it's taking the PMP, whether it's taking the AC, uh, ACP, whatever it is, you stick with the commitment until it doesn't make sense no more and you have to pivot, which makes us move on to point number two, embracing change and adaptability. Again, treat your personal development as, as an opportunity, as a project, embracing the change and be willing to adapt if required based on the opportunity. My last and final one, family, is scope management to, pre, uh, to prevent commitment. Listen, we, we understand what in project management, a lot of times the scope is always under attack that you find, feel like you're guarding it with your actual life. But seriously, clearly define what you will and will not take on so you can avoid overstretching yourself. I see so many people, including myself, as I shared with you earlier, is that we take on so much instead of saying no, instead of saying, hey, you know what? Uh, I'll be able to do it a month from now or after I finish this particular project. It's this is going to be your key. When I talk about, they say major key, this is a major key, family. So anyway, I've been your boy ED. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I enjoyed delivering it to you today. Until next time, I'm out.